Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomus coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Air Raid. Finally, Wave 2 is out, and in addition to being able to complete Menasaur finally, we also get the final piece to complete Superion. If you remember in the first wave, they kind of mixed things up a little bit. They put the drag strip in there instead of putting Air Raid, which annoyed some people, but and what are you going to do? <laughs> we still have it. Now, the other thing that they're doing differently is that all of Wave 2, in terms of the deluxe figures, include a comic book. Now, which one it is, I have no idea. Now, I'll flip through it and kind of get an idea, but I I don't read the comics as many of you know, so I won't probably be able to tell you what story this is. Uh, I'm hoping it has something to do with the whole Combiner Wars aspect, but we'll see. Now you may be asking why we didn't get comic books with the first that wave of figures, and apparently they just didn't get them done in time. They had the collector card, so that's what they ended up putting in there, and from what I've heard, they're going to re-release the first wave, but with the comic books included. So again, I don't know in, in terms of storytelling if those are gonna be like issue one one or something in a story and this is going to be issue two so we may be getting some disconnected continuity with these i don't know exactly but for the package you can see that you it's actually a little bit different the whole thing is like this plastic that protects the actual comic book on the inside which is neat but you got the transformers logo you got generations up there you can see a nice image of air raid which if it wasn't wave one that would just be what's on this collector card it doesn't come with the collector card in these so we're getting the comics instead so you come around here and it says, oddly enough, it's one of five. So, well, whatever, but we're able to complete them. Now, you come around here to the back, you can see that he transforms in 11 steps, and it says, if you need one warrior to fly around into a hotbed of enemy activity, Air Raid is the bot to call. He's at his best when he's a one-bot wrecking crew. There's something about improbable odds that pushes his circuits to function at beyond peak performance. And then as you can see, you got all five of the aerial bots and boom, you got Superion. But for the package, it is a little bit different just in the fact that the background again is the comic book, kind of like what they did with some of the other generation figures, like say during the Thrilling 30 and things like that. So it's a little bit different, but basically the same general concept. But for the packaging, that is about it. So without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Air Raid open up and out of its packaging. And I am really very impressed with this. Now, despite the fact that it is very similar to a lot of the other aerial bots that we got, especially in terms of the transformation, it just, I think, looks cool. Now, granted, he does have a lot of a robot underneath the jet look, but, you know, I I'm really not too upset with that. I, I mean, it's very simple. I think that it has a great amount of play value, and while these are designed for kind of adult collectors or older collectors, I should say, you know, they, they are a great way for kids to get into them as well. Uh, the transformation is very simple on these guys, and I mean, it's honestly... It's not much different than what we got in terms of G1 toys. I mean, this was ridiculously simple. So, I mean, it's really not fair to complain too much. Now, a lot of people want more complex Transformers because we're older now and we can figure them out. But I, I just, I, I dig the fact that it kind of carries over. I mean, it doesn't bother me that much. I mean, you got the robot right underneath there. You got the arms that just kind of tuck in. I mean, I guess they do a better job of hiding the arms and the fact that they go into this cavity, whereas they don't really do that here. Um, and then, you know, I mean, you, you got the head that just sits right there, at least because you can articulate this, you can rotate the head around so you don't actually see the face. But I mean, I, I really am pleased with these. Uh, I, I don't like comparing these to third party companies because, you know, I mean, on a budget like this, I think they are absolutely incredible. I mean, this is not a hundred or $110 figure, but I really do really honestly feel that if you gave the Hasbro a budget of making a hundred dollar for or charging a hundred dollars for each figure I think obviously it would be a lot better than this but I think they would nail it and I think they did a great job with these uh, I mean it, this just overall looks really fun it's very cool uh, you can fold these wings out although it gets obviously ugly when you do it but you can fold them out a little bit more to create that uh look i don't remember what the kind of jet it is but it, you know they kind of have wings out like that and they can 
bring him back like so. It's like Top Gun or something like that. Uh, he does come with his two accessories. He does come with a white gun. Now, I don't remember which one we got before, but I'll, I'll hold it behind my hand so you can actually see it. Um, this is the exact same mold as one that we got previously, but it was black. Uh, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure which one we got it with, but we do get another one of those. And then we do get another foot that can also be a foot or a hand. Uh, this is the foot configuration. And then I have very short fingernails. Um, I'm gonna pull out this little thing right there and you can fold this up and you can have him with a hand with some missiles on there or something now air raid for me personally is a leg that's what he was in the g1 cartoon that's what he was in the g1 toy and that's basically what i leave him as so it, it works for me that's my nostalgia factor but as a scramble city combiner you can have him be anything you can well except for a torso but you can have him be an arm or a leg and you can have him attached to either superion or even motormaster that why you would want to do that i don't know but to uh, go to his leg mode you just kind of take these fold these back get these out of the way take this section rotate this back lift this forward we're going to spin this around now and when you do it you probably should rotate his head around because you're going to have his head sticking out so spin his head around bring that around just like that tuck that there bring that up like so and then for a leg this is what you have now anyway you can even take these and Fold these up, I should say. Now, honestly, for me, I'm not a big fan of uh, this as the, the configuration for his leg. Uh, that's it. I mean, that's what the instructions show you to do for his leg. But for me, I'm an old school kind of guy. And in terms of air raid being the leg, I like him where he's facing this way. So I'm going to rotate this around. This little piece here kind of gets in the way, but you can actually just fold that back and it stays back and it doesn't flop down or anything. But that's the configuration that I personally like for his leg. Uh, so setting that there and then, well, it's, why aren't you? Oh, there we go. And then, oh, it's actually a little bit off centered. Why are you doing that? Oh, I think it's because it's my table. But um, this is the G1 version of him. And like I said, this is how I always had him. This is his leg. I mean, you could put it like that for him, but it, it looked weird. And people I know would do it because this whole section here can actually bend down. And it would kind of give him a knee. And very, very true to that as well. When you have it like this, you lose that knee bend. Now, if you have it like this, you can see it's still going to bend forward and back. And then if you have it like this, I guess you could, if you lift that forward, you could bend it, but it, you're not going to get much because this is going to be back in the way. So um, I, I don't mind that all that much because I'm just going to pose my figures. And most of the time, they're just going to be standing there. So this is the configuration that I would usually go with. Officially, it should be like this. Um, so if that's you know what you want by all means go for it now uh, again i mean going back to jet mode you can see that uh, it's really s silly easy get that rotated bring that down boom you have him back in his jet mode now uh, to go into his robot mode like i said these little bits just lift this up the arms transform the exact same way they just angle up just like that and these legs transform the exact same way as well rotate these back kind of angle this section here where it's going to have this little gap right there that split these apart and then you bring this up and this will tab in when you get that lined up there we go just like so so again angle this where it's going to be bent and have this little rectangular gap right there open for you fold this up lock that into place Bring that down, take this section here, kind of fold these back, take this, bring this back, rotate his head. You've got two little notches here that these bits right here are going to tab into just like so. Rotate that around, get his head. Now, uh, the instructions actually show you putting his wings up like that, and that's silly stupid <laughs> i don't know why anybody would want to do that uh you can leave them down just like so uh i i personally prefer it that way because that's how air raid kind of looked in the cartoon and i'm all about that look but i i really do like the way that this guy looks they absolutely captured him wonderfully the face is very spot on to the actual the original g1 character it, it looks great a lot of these 
pieces, you know, really do look, well, except for, obviously, Alpha Bravo. I mean, he doesn't look like Slingshot or anything, but he's not supposed to be Slingshot. But, I mean, these guys really are quite cool. I mean, honestly, I'm just sitting here gushing over these and i was so very skeptical when we first saw these because the, the pictures looked terrible uh, i mean especially as superior they really looked bad but i kind of reserved my judgment recognized that those were just test samples that were quite literally glued together and i, I put that in context and kind of kept that in the back of my mind i was like i'll, I'll hold off until i see it but i mean Everything else, though, just really, it, I'm just so wonderfully impressed. I mean, I really do think that Hasbro nailed it with these figures. And now we finally can combine and make uh, Superion. Uh, now, granted, it's not the G1 Superion that we know. It's more the IDW one. But I am looking forward to getting the actual slingshot figure. Uh, the other thing that I will point out is that the Takara version, the leg slash hand, whatever you want to use it as, will be white instead of black. Uh, much like the original G1, you can see that it's this white color. So that's going to be something that's going to be fixed as well. I, I, I really don't know, honestly, if I'm going to pick that set up. I do know that they are going to release a Slingshot individually. I believe it's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive. I'm not 100% certain on that. But I really don't know if, you know, getting a white version of these is really worth that extra price in terms of buying that box set from Takara. And already third-party companies have shown, I, I think it's iGear, that is going to be making the upgrade pieces. So that's something I might look at. But the guy really does absolutely capture that likeness. Now, for his articulation, the head is on this little ball joint. You get up, down, left, right. I love how the blue color here actually goes all the way to the back of the head. That's really very neat. No light piping or anything like that, but very nice blue painted eyes the shoulders here are on ball joints so wonderful range of motion i love the little tiny autobot logo that he's got right there really very very cool uh, he rotates at the upper part of the bicep he bends here at the elbow uh, as part of the transformation and limb configure well not transformation but limb configuration he does rotate at the waist so that's really nice to see the hips are on ball joints they move forward and back in and out they rotate here at a bit of a mushroom joint at the upper part of the thigh and he bends here at the knee no, no feet articulation or anything like that but uh i mean th this this is a i i feel like i'm just repeating the same stuff i need to i need to have a thesaurus that next to me so that i can use different adjectives to describe this guy because i just like it so much uh, now for the arm um the configuration is basically the same you're going to put this all together you're going to take this rotate this around you can put these in any kind of position that you may want uh, for the arms, probably something along these lines, something like that. That's kind of how I've been doing them with some of the other arms. So just sit that like that, rotate that. Uh, let's see, we're going to make sure that that stays all locked together. That's going to be that. And then you're going to have a double elbow. Bring this out again. Uh, get the little fingers coming out. And there we go just like that and if this is going to be a right arm <laughs> we're going to put it in like that and there you have his arm configuration and, and again um it, it is personal preference uh, i don't particularly like it uh, as an arm and you can put these up like this uh, however you really want but i like kind of keeping it looking like an actual plane so i mean maybe even something like that i don't know uh, but for me i i don't care for him as an actual arm it, it's just for me he's a leg so i could really care less about that so getting this out of the way taking him and putting him back in his robot form just like which i mean again really really super easy to actually do there, there's not much to it uh and I, I i love that i love that simplicity uh it's not overly complex i think it just works on so many different levels i think they're nailing it with these um but that's that's really about it now you guys are going to want to know how he looks to superion superion is going to be a whole separate video by itself i'm going to have all of these in the configuration that i want them at you guys have seen the various configurations so i'm not going to go through how to transform them into those different limb modes and things like that i'm just going to show you putting it together and touching on superion as a figure just by itself that'll come out later on so 
stay tuned, obviously, for that. Now, to transform him back into his jet, again, I'm just going to get these out of the way. Rotate this around. Bring that down just like so. These legs, separate that. Then you accordion this. Uh, this can actually get a little bit tricky sometimes, too, because this joint here is really stiff. There we go. Get that right there. Do that on this side as well. Ah, there we go. That yeah, it's a it's a stiff joint there, which I, I do really like. It doesn't want to fold down. There we go. Get that like that. You bring these two halves together, fold these bits down, line everything up. These hands, you can see that there's a little tab that sticks out like right here and right here. So you angle these arms down the part of the shoulder right here kind of tucks behind the chest piece as you bring it down that brings that little tab in alignment here with this little slot so you just bring that in and push that in that locks everything nicely into place keep all that together do that on that side as well take these fold those down do that on that side as well fold that back Bring that back like so. He doesn't have any landing gear, which is kind of unfortunate because, again, he just sits there. But, hey, it's cool. I, I'm really, really digging these. Um, uh, these little bits right here are soft rubber, uh, but you can see that they're actually pretty straight on there. I mean, uh, this one's here a little bit curved, but I could probably fix that just by heating it up or something. So it's not too bad. But uh, there you have Air Raid back in his jet mode. And if I've said it once in this review, I probably said it 87 different times. You probably could have a drinking game with the amount of times that I was saying how much I like this. Every time I said, I really like it, take a shot or something. You probably wouldn't last too long, but I really do dig these. Now, I do wish that we got them all at the same time. I understand why we didn't. I'm glad that we got them nonetheless. I mean, we always were. Uh, I do like the comic book. I didn't go over that in this, but it does touch on some Combiner War stuff. I didn't want to flip through the pages or anything and spoil anything for anybody, but it is worth the read. And I'm happy that they went back to give us those comic books. But Hasbro really has hit a home run with these, I feel, and I'm absolutely loving this entire new Combiner Wars thing. Now, if you are collecting these, naturally Air Raid is one that you're going to have to get to complete that look. But even though that you have to get them, I really do think that he's a great figure just on his own. So as I said, these are slowly starting to trickle out to different retailers. So good luck and happy hunting. But if you can't find them out in retail, there's always places like Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Big Bad Toy Store where you can pick this guy up and add him to your collection today. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambotomous. And by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash Optibotomous. Also, I'd encourage you to check out my new website at optibotomousreviews.com, where you can see all my videos from the previous week, see what I have coming up for future release, and also get your very own Optibotomous t-shirt. And finally, I'd also really appreciate it, guys, that if you like this review, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.